job, yeah, barking up the wrong tree. You know how to. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Molly Family Athletic and Intramural Complex, home of your University of Tampa Spartans. This afternoon, the Spartans welcome Florida Tech. At this time, we ask that you please rise and remove your hats as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. starting lineups beginning with the Florida Tech Panthers. Attacker is a sophomore from Fiera, Florida, number four, Nate DePlank. Midfielder is a senior from Columbia, Maryland, number nine, Brennan Banks. Defender is a grad student from Ellicott City, Maryland, number 12, Josh Fetter. Attacker is a sophomore from Elkridge, Maryland, number 34, Zach Rosgagne. Midfielder is a grad student from Exton, Pennsylvania, number 54, Matthew Hill. Attacker is a sophomore from Westminster, Maryland, number 66, Colin Stewart. Defender is a grad student from Monroe Township, New Jersey, number 82, Cole Marini. Four is a senior from Burridge, Illinois, number 90, Ethan Tosha. In goal is a grad student from Westminster, Maryland, number 91, John Holzman. And defender is a grad student from Wilmot, Illinois, number 93, Sam Balch. Head coach of the Panthers is Brad MacArthur, assisted by Zach Wynn. And for your University of Tampa Spartans, midfielder is a junior from Cincinnati, Ohio, number three, Brady Stoll. In goal is a junior from Naples, Florida, number four, Blake Ulmer. Midfielder is a senior from Parkman, Florida, number six, Christian Brodia. Defender is a senior from Marshfield, Mass, number nine, Sean Nazola. Defender is a junior from San Diego, California, number 10, Matthew Beto. Defender is a senior from Bedford, New Hampshire, number 13, Cormac McCarthy. Attacker is a junior from Summit, New Jersey, number 15, Harry Kilkowski. Midfielder is a junior from Tampa, Florida, number 17, Hunter Turner. Attacker is a senior from Baltimore, Maryland, number 18, Colin White. Attacker is a senior from Syracuse, New York, number 45, Luke McEnany. 
Head coach of your Spartans is J.B. Clark, assisted by Ryan Sullivan, Adam Hardy, Scott Bramble, Mark Penn, Andrew Q, and Matt Henry. The NCAA, the University of Tampa, and Florida Tech all promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Using obscene gestures, profanity, racial, sexist, or unduly provocative language or action toward officials, opponents, spectators, or administrators will not be tolerated, and our grounds for removal from the grounds. It is only 62 degrees. And the Panthers looking to get things going here in the early on. And a whistle there, and it'll be turned over. So the Spartans get their first possession of the game. Matthew Badeau sends it over to his goaltender, Ulmer. The Spartans going right to left will be shooting against Panthers starting goaltender, John Halsman. And the Spartans going to work here as McEnany takes it in behind the Panthers' net. Comes out the other side. McEnany on the far side of the field. And you might be able to see the players' jerseys. Some wind definitely present here this afternoon as UT works it in behind the Panthers' net. And working back there is Harry Kilkowski. Kilkowski, they knock the ball free and force the turnover, and so it'll be Florida Tech ball. This is a 5-0 Spartans team going against 4-2 Florida Tech. I mentioned that UT is ranked number two and Florida Tech is ranked number 16. This is the sixth game of the season for the Spartans this season. All six games have been against teams ranked in the top 20. As you see the Panthers and maintaining possession down there is Colin Stewart as they work it back up top. Bennett Duffy over for Justin Williams. Williams on the move. Looks for a lane, takes a shot. That one goes out of play and possession stays with the Panthers. And now Danny Richmond, excuse me, that's 34, not 14. Zach Rosgoni puts it in, and the Panthers with it on the far side of the field will reset up top with Bennett Duffy. Duffy on the move, trying to go one-on-one -on -one there against Owen Matukas, and possession stays with Florida Tech. 25 on the shot clock for them, and a flag thrown. Shot scores! The Panthers draw first blood, 2 minutes 28 seconds into the game. as there was going to be a penalty called there. And the Panthers get the goal from Colin Stewart. You'll see the replay here as he comes out in front of the net and spins and beats the outstretched arm of Blake Ulmer. The faceoff now won by the Spartans. A nice job to control there by Hunter Turner. And he drops it back for Matthew Badeau. Sends a long pass over to the far side of the field. Brady Stoll runs it up. Stoll crosses midfield. Sends a pass up ahead that missed intended for Turner. And let's see who gets there first. The official on the spot blowing it in favor of UT. Colin White was going to put it back in. This is Kilkowski now. And his pass connects with McEnany. 
Luke McEnany, some strong defense there. And a little too strong on the part of Sam Balch for Florida Tech, as you see it turned over. And now the Panthers started up across midfield. That's Nick Canetti. And now relayed to Rosgoni. Back now to Sam Sidari, who plays catch there with Rosgoni. And one more time to Sidari. He goes over to his left to Griffin Martin, who just stepped on. And now this will be Jacob Turpak. And a long shot taken there by Colin Stewart and the save by Ulmer. And looking for some room is Kellen Hoke for the Spartans. Hoke has it knocked free. Oh, and Hoke, wow, lays out Colin Stewart. And a big pileup as the referee throws the flag to stop play. Three minutes and 57 seconds into the first quarter. And let's see what the call is here as the official goes over to the far sideline to talk to the scores table. And it looks like it's going to be Colin White, perhaps. Well, it's Kellen Hoke, one minute for cross-checking. I saw Colin White go over there with him. And so the Spartans, a man short here as the Panthers go to work, already leading one to nothing, and a pass over onto the far side of the field. And now over to Bennett Duffy. His pass quickly, they send it in behind the Spartans' net. And good job to work the perimeter here by the Panthers. Pass inside and unable to get the shot away was Duffy. And the ball's still loose, picking it up for the Panthers. That was Griffin Bowie. And the Panthers score. It looks like the call had expired against Kellen Hoke. So that'll be even strength. But regardless, the visitors go up two to nothing, four minutes and 27 seconds in. As you see the replay coming here. And just a long low shot that beats Blake Ulmer. Goal scored by Justin Williams, and it actually does go as a man advantage goal. Rosgoni gets the assist, and here come the Panthers again, although strong defense by the Spartans forcing the turnover, and here they come. That's McEnany. Luke McEnany tries to cut towards the net, and that was shut down by the defender, Sam Balch. And the Spartans have it up top now. Christopher Sesla. Sesla drops off a pass for McEnany, and that one goes over to the far side of the field as the Spartans look to get on the board here, trailing two to nothing. Sesla drops back a pass for Nick Papa. Papa tries to turn the corner and can't shake the defender, gets a shot away that goes out of bounds. Possession stays with the Spartans as Kilkowski will put it back in play. Kilkowski on the run and has it knocked free from his stick by Josh Vetter and picks it back up, but Vetter still playing strong back there and possession stays with the Spartans, and the shot clock for them is now down to 15 seconds. McEnany has it knocked free from his stick, and some strong defense by the Panthers as they're able to cause a turnover, and then McEnany came over and tried to lay out Sam Balch, and so the goaltender, Halsman, plays it over to the far side of the field as the Panthers start up, trying to gain midfield. That's Matthew Hill. And the Panthers enter the Spartan zone. And a nice play there defensively by Matthew Badeau to cause a turnover. And Badeau looking for some help 
Sends it all the way over to the other side of the field where it's pulled down by Cormac McCarthy. UT crosses midfield and now gains the Panthers line. McEnany on the far side. Taking it in behind the Panthers net. Spartans still looking for their first shot on goal. And we're more than six and a half minutes into the game. That's Charlie Bolish. Bolish stops on the dime, turns, goes the other way. Pass over now for Kellen Hoke. Hoke takes the shot. That one goes wide and out of play. Kilkowski putting it back into play. The Spartans have two shots off goal, but nothing that has tested John Halsman, the Panthers goaltender, yet. Halsman six foot two and looks every bit of it in that Panthers net. As this is Charlie Bullish with it. Hoke has a little bit of room. Hoke takes a shot and Halsman handles that one easily and puts it up ahead in a collision there. And a nice job to hang on by Gavin Wessel as the Panthers quickly into the Spartans end. Rosgoni and the corner. Takes it in behind the Spartans net. Rosgoni sends it over to the far side. Sam Sidari, and they'll send it back behind the UT net. Up top with it now, Jacob Turpak, and he gets it right back from Martin. Turpak on the run, and a pass intended for DePlank. Missed it, the ball's free. Picked up by Griffin Martin. And Turpak holds on, relays it back to Martin, and now over for Sidari. Sidari looking for an open lane and a good play there defensively as Sam Collingwood knocked it down and causes the turnover. And here come the Spartans back the other way. Matukas, a pass for Hoke. Hoke with a pass that connects. McEnany pushes it into the corner. Kilkowski sends a pass over. Gets it right back. Kilkowski deep in behind the Spartans net. A pass over for Colin White. White tries to dance around the check and has to send it back up top now as Nick Papa relays it over and the Spartans regain the Panthers line. Christopher Sesla trying to go one-on-one, -on -one, and a defender slides over to help out. Sesla has a lane and has it knocked free at the last minute. The Spartans pick it up, a long shot, goes out of play. Possession remains with UT, still 29 on the shot clock as Kilkowski puts it back in play. Harry Kilkowski trying to work his way towards the net, sends a pass that was deflected, and that'll be turned over as it's taken away for Florida Tech by Josh Vetter and pushed up ahead now for Nick Kennedy. Kennedy across the Spartans line. Kennedy, and a pass right in front, shot scores! Zach Rosgoni, nine minutes, 34 seconds into the first quarter. The Panthers, a three to nothing lead. As Florida Tech off to a great start, as you see the replay here. And good work there by Kennedy and finds Rosgoni in close. As the Panthers, to the dismay of the Spartans fans, have scored of, on three of their four shots on goal. And nobody able to control the faceoff yet still as it rolls free, it's kicked at, and possession awarded to the Panthers. And a very good crowd on hand this afternoon, despite the unseasonable conditions. Not too much for them to cheer about thus far, though, as the home team trails three to nothing, and the visiting Florida Tech Panthers in possession right now. Up top of it is Bennett Duffy. And now over for Stewart. Colin Stewart on the run. Stewart takes it in behind the Spartans net. 
Stewart out in front takes a shot that goes wide and out of play. And possession stays with Florida Tech. Rosgoni puts it back in behind the Spartans net. And a nice defensive switch there. And Rosgoni, a little spin move, pass down low, popping out in front. Oh, a good save there by Ulmer on the shot by Bennett Duffy. And UT will take over as Casey Platenic runs it up. Platenic across midfield and now gets it up ahead to McEnany. Pass now to Harry Kilkowski. This is Charlie Bolish. And up top with it, Daniel Fitzpatrick. Back over to Bolish. And now Fitzpatrick directing his teammate as he sends it over to the other side of the field to Kellen Hoke. Hoke has a step on the defender, sends a pass in behind the Panthers net. The pass is dropped and now picked back up by Kilkowski. Kilkowski tries to get some room, trying to work there against Josh Vetter. And up top now, Bullish with it. Bullish is bumped, sends a pass over to Hoke. Here's Fitzpatrick again. Fitzpatrick, and the lane closes up, gets it back, misses it. Fitzpatrick, seven on the shot clock. Spartans need to get a shot away here. And Fitzpatrick tries to weave his way in, is taken down, and the Panthers, the shot clock expires, and the Panthers were able to cause a turnover anyways. And we're inside three minutes left in the first quarter. And nothing offensively for UT yet. They only have one shot on goal. As you see a ball roll towards the sidelines and the official right below us motioning a change of possession as UT starts back again. Matukas on the run. For McEnany. And up top of it now, Nick Papa. Spartans making some personnel changes. Out came Christopher Sesla, sent it back over for Papa. And now Nick Papa jogs it down towards the corner, stops, turns, and leaves it back for Sesla. Sesla on the run. Over for McEnany. McEnany starts his move, backs up, pass up, and they send it to the far side of the field. A long shot coming goes out of play off the stick of Jackson Day. And the Spartans put it back in behind the Panthers' net. Quickly a pass for Nick Papa. Trying to go one-on-one. -on -one, runs out of room and has to take it in behind the Panthers' net to the far side of the field. Up top with it now, Sesla, and he drops it. Gave up on it, and the Panthers' player is there to pick it up. That's J.P. Thomas. And a temporary lapse of judgment causes the turnover. And so the Panthers, with just a minute and a half to go here in the first quarter, crossing the Tampa line once again. Up top with it, Justin Williams. And with it now, having just stepped out on the field, is Griffin Bowie brings it over to the near side. Bowie being watched here by Matukas, crosses the Tampa line, looks for an open teammate, and still holds on to it. And now leaves a pass, and they send it over for Williams. And a long shot coming, scores! Bennett Duffy beating Blake Ulmer. And with 56 seconds left in the first quarter, the Panthers with a big 4 to nothing lead. And you see the replay there as Duffy lined up his target. Justin Williams getting the assist. And Williams now with a goal and an assist in this game. And we have the faceoff now at midfield. And won by the Spartans. That was Hunter Turner. And now his pass for Jackson Day. Day stops, turns the other way, pass for McEnany. 
And up top of it now, Charlie Bolish. Hoke on the run. Pass over and fake shot. McEnany pass down low. Colin White front scores. A great play there by Colin White. Beating goaltender John Halsman. And with just 25 seconds left in the first quarter, the Spartans finally get on the board. It's 4-1. to one. And there you see the replay. And a good job by Colin White to outlast the goaltender Halsman as the Spartans finally get in the goal column. McEnany gets the assist on the goal by Colin White. And now the faceoff. And that's how that last goal got started was with Hunter Turner winning the faceoff, although you see the Panthers in control now with 15 seconds to go in the fourth in the first quarter. They run it down and pass down low and shooting without the ball was Rosgonyi and has it one more time, takes a shot that goes wide and out of play. And just three seconds left now. And will the Panthers get a final shot away? They throw it in front of the net intended for Rosgonyi, but not able to follow through on what would have been a quick stick. And so we're at the end of the first quarter and the Florida Tech Panthers leading the Tampa Spartans four to one. We'll be right back. You're watching Tampa Spartans lacrosse on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. Back live here and set to start the second quarter with Florida Tech in the lead four to one. Shots on goal in the first quarter were six to two in favor of the Panthers. And the Panthers also won four of six faceoffs. As you see them with the first possession of the second quarter down in behind the Spartans net. Here's a pass over now for Colin Stewart. Stewart brings it out up towards midfield and sends a pass over for Justin Williams and now connects with a pass on the far side of the field. Some good speed there by Bennett Duffy as it's played back and now up top with it, Stewart once again. And they move it over to the other side of the field and working in for a shot was Griffin Bowie. Didn't have it, took it behind the net, comes back out in front and now that one goes in behind the Spartans net. Chased down there by Rosgonyi. Up top of it now, Williams. Williams has a little bit of room. Williams to the far side sends a pass down low. And it's in behind the Spartans net. That's Chandler Hake. Hake with a pass and a nice play defensively by the Spartans. Strong defensively. As you see, some trouble there for Blake Ulmer, the goaltender. The ball's loose. And it'll be picked up by the Spartans. And they'll bring it up in the person of Owen Matukas. And I'm looking behind the play. It looks like Matthew Badeau 
favoring his arm or his shoulder as the Spartans take a shot that Halsman made the save. And for UT, a possible injury as Matthew Badeau, number 10, really seems to be favoring his arm or his shoulder and is still out there as the Panthers try to bring it into the UT end of the field and we'll keep an eye on Badeau to see how things go at least on this defensive stand for his Spartans team as you see a shot that goes out of play. And now put back into play by Florida Tech, Patrick Stewart has passed now for Duffy. And up top with it, Turpak. Turpak one on one, takes a shot. That one goes out of play. Possession stays with Florida Tech as Chandler Hake puts it back into play. Hake on the far side sends a pass down behind the Spartans net. Duffy back there. Duffy comes out in front, takes a pass that doesn't connect and chasing it down will be Turpak. And the Panthers still at 20 seconds on the shot clock. As there's a pass that goes in behind the net and it's taken away by none other than Matthew Badeau. And Badeau, his left arm or shoulder, whatever it was that was bothering him before, at least okay enough to bring it all the way down the field and sends the pass over. And now he'll jog back as it's taken over by Owen Miller. And now quickly a pass from Hoke over to the far side. Fitzpatrick back to Hoke. Hoke with a long shot. That one goes out of play. And possession still with the Spartans as Colin White puts it back into play. Owen Miller with it now. Up top with it is Hoke. Hoke on the far side. Sends it in behind the net. Quick passing here, Fitzpatrick over for Miller. Miller on the move, a little flip pass. Hoke up top to Fitzpatrick, has some room, takes a shot, and it goes wide and out of play. And possession stays with the Spartans as they still have 25 seconds on the shot clock. This is Colin White. And if you just joined us, White has the only UT goal thus far, as you see one thrown away there on the far side of the field. And so possession to the Panthers. And now they restart as it's sent back to the goaltender, Halsman. And now over for Cole Marini. Up ahead now a loose ball and the Panthers get to it first. It's loose again. And now Spartans, Brady Stoll runs after it. He can't come up with it. And it's still loose. And the official there whistles that one in favor of the Spartans. So UT gets a break here as Casey Platenic brings it across the Panthers line for Colin White. And now back up near midfield is Nick Papa. And he completes a pass as Bolish crosses the Panthers line. Bolish looks for an open teammate. And now Sesla weighing his options, sends it back down to Bolish on the far side of the field. Bolish sends a pass into the corner. White quickly whips it back out, and it's back up top. Quick passing here by the Spartans. Still not able to get into a prime scoring area as they have it over on the far side of the field. Bolish, Bolish looking to go one-on-one -on -one against the defender. Stops, turns, and jukes back the other way. Has to go in behind the Panthers' net. Now there's a pass and a shot coming. Oh, a good save there by Halsman on a shot by Nick Papa. And they're going to reset the shot clock and possession will stay with the Spartans as Christopher Sesla puts it back into play. Sesla in behind the Florida Tech net. A nice pick back there by Ronan Sanchez and the Spartans turn it over as the Panthers play it back to their goaltender and Halsman 
waves his teammates on and sends a long pass up ahead that connects with Brendan Banks. Banks takes a shot and that one bounces and goes out of play. And the update on Matthew Badeau is his arm is being looked at. He's over on the training table on the Spartan sideline. As you see the Panthers continuing to work offensively. A nice save there by Blake Almer. And so UT trying to come back. No one has scored yet in this quarter. And we've just passed six minutes into the second quarter. It was four to nothing before the Spartans finally got on the board. And that's how we stood at the end of the first quarter was four to one in favor of the Panthers. As UT, they're gonna throw that one away. And no sooner did I give you the medical update on Matthew Badeau than he's back out on the field, which is good news, of course, for head coach J.B. Clark. And here come the Panthers. And some quick passing, but Spartan's able to knock that one down. And now a loose ball, that'll be chased down and raked up ahead by Brady Stoll. And Badeau on the run. Badeau at midfield as pass connects and the Spartans Move it up ahead, Ronan Sanchez for Day. And now up top is Kellen Hoke. Owen Miller being worked over there defensively by Sam Balch. And it's sent up top and the Spartans will try the other side of the field, Hoke on the run. Hoke spins, takes a shot, hit the goal post and the rebound Goes all the way out of bounds and possession stays with the Spartans and they get a fresh shot clock as they push it over to Hoke on the far side again. Hoke takes another shot and that one might have been deflected, didn't get through. And now on the far side, the Panthers able to come up with it. Oh, and a big collision there and a flag is thrown as Austin Angler of Florida Tech just ran through a Spartans player, and I'm guessing that the call is probably going to go against Angler as we wait the official over on the far sideline talking to the scores table. This comes 6 minutes 51 seconds. Excuse me, 7 minutes 51 seconds into the second quarter. And the call is actually against Kellen Hoke, 30 seconds for holding. So the Spartans go a man short for the second time in this game. The Panthers were successful the first time with the extra man. And they have it on the far side of the field, now up top playing catch there. Justin Williams and Zach Rosgonyi. And there's the pass that's dropped and Stewart able to pick it back up. And already UT back at full strength. This is Griffin Bowie with it for Florida Tech. Bowie being watched there by Christian Brodiak as it goes out of play and possession stays with Florida Tech. 30 seconds still on the shot clock and play resumes. Bowie on the move. His pass for Duffy. And now that's Justin Williams and Ulmer will hang on to that one. And Ulmer now sends it up as Hayden Toth brings it up. Toth crosses midfield and Toth across the Panthers line. Now leaves the pass back, a little head nod from Christian Brodiak directing Colin White, who has it now in the corner. White, a pass for Bolish, fake the shot. Bolish 
had a lot of open room and opts to hold on and gets it right back up at midfield. As we're inside five and a half minutes until halftime and the Spartans trying to crawl within two goals of the Panthers. Three saves so far by John Halsman, which means, yes, the Spartans have only had four shots on goal. And there's another save for Halsman. Has not been overwhelmingly tested. Spartans just not able to generate too many high quality scoring chances. And Florida Tech with it now. Looking for the first goal of this quarter, despite the fact that we're closing in on 10 and a half minutes in. And with it up top now is Turpak. Turpak gets by his check and sliding over to help out. A nice job there by Jackson Day. And now Day coming out on Turpak. Turpak will send it in behind the Spartans net. And a shot taken goes out of play. Five saves for Blake Ulmer thus far. So nine shots on goal. The math there for the Panthers. As this is Griffin Martin with it. His pass over for Matt Gutman. And behind the Spartans net now, that's Nate DePlank. And DePlank, a pass in front. Missed, ball's loose, and Badeau comes up with it for UT, and a flag is thrown. And I see Cormac McCarthy arguing with the official, and so you can take an educated guess as to who this call is going to go against. As McCarthy heads over to the penalty area, and this comes with 341 left here in the second quarter. And this will be the third shorthanded situation of the game for McCarthy, who gets a one minute penalty for a body check. The Panthers are one for two with the extra man so far this afternoon. And again, I'm looking out of the press box both to my left and to my right in the spectator seating area and a really great crowd here this afternoon, despite, as I mentioned, what we would consider unseasonable temperatures. Not the ideal Tampa, Florida weather conditions you'd expect as it's dropped to 60 degrees since our game time face off when it was 62 as the Panthers have it down low. Bounce shot, they score. Colin Stewart sneaks in on Blake Ulmer and bounces that one to the far side of the net. And the Panthers lead grows to four. As you see the replay here and watch them come from the left side of your screen and just dances out in front to bounce that one past Ulmer. The goal is unassisted. And so at 3.14 left here in the first quarter, the Spartans need to dig deep and find their offense, which coming into today's game had averaged 14.2 goals per game and certainly not resembling that so far as they've got their work cut out for them. And what has been a game that is indicative of what you see as the score right now. UT just has not been able to mount a threat. As now, you're welcome, they score. That's Luke McEnany. And I'm happy to do a reverse jinx or whatever you want to call it. As the home fans finally have something to cheer about here. UT 
answering right back. And the deficit goes back to three as it's five to two. And so we'll get the face off here with 2.45 left. So two goals, 29 seconds apart. And that was Hunter Turner on the draw for the Spartans. Panthers in position again, and they're leading seven to two in faceoffs one. And that, along with the Spartans taking three penalties, two of which the Panthers have capitalized on, contributing to this five to two deficit for the number two ranked Tampa Spartans as you see them cause a turnover. And back they come across midfield, pass up ahead, McEnany. And now they push it right in front and unable to get the follow through was Jackson Day as the Spartans have it in behind the Panthers net. That's Colin White. And a flag throw and a penalty coming here to Florida Tech. And in the meantime, play carries on as Matukas sends it to White. And now in the corner is Kilkowski. Kilkowski deep and behind the Panthers net. Starts his move. Kilkowski comes out in front, changes hands, sends it behind the Florida Tech net. Owen Miller, they'll blow the play dead. And so we'll get a call now against the Panthers. And so this will be the first. The penalty is going to be called against Cole Marini, a one minute slashing call. And 122 left in the half. And let's see if the Spartans can capitalize with the extra man as Colin White has it in the corner. Owen Miller, quick pass to Hoke and a good save there by Halsman. And Halsman sends a pass up ahead. Josh Vetter on the run. Moves it to DePlank. And now in the center of the field, Colin Stewart. And they'll still have 22 seconds left in the call against Marini, but Panthers looking to kill that off and some clock. There's about 22 seconds difference. So when they do return to full strength, they'll still have plenty of time to get the final shot of the first half. There it is. And so back to full strength. And 17 seconds now in the second quarter. Up top of it, Bowie. Griffin Bowie takes a shot and a nice save there by Ulmer. Spartans four seconds, a long quick pass ahead. And Colin White shoots wide. And the horn goes to end the first half. So we go into the halftime break with the visitors in the lead five to two. Do come back after halftime for the call of the third quarter here on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. I'm Bruce Wozniak, and you're watching Tampa Spartans Lacrosse.
Nope, just another ordinary day at UT. In NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. In NCAA Division II, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours.
Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. The 2020 Spartans, one of the best collegiate lacrosse teams of all time. We'd like to welcome Manatee Wildcat Lacrosse and South Tampa Sticks. Thank you for your support of University of Tampa and Lacrosse. All set to start the second half here as the Spartans trail 5-2. to two. First half shots on goal were 11-8 to eight in favor of the Panthers. Both goaltenders had six saves apiece. The Panthers were two for three. With the extra man, faceoffs were 7-2 to two in favor of Florida Tech. Each team had 11 turnovers. Florida Tech got two goals from Colin Stewart. And then Williams, Duffy, and Ward each had one. UT's two goals have come from Colin White and Luke McEnany. This is the number 16 Florida Tech Panthers playing against the second-ranked Tampa Spartans. 
and we saw the sun ever so briefly during the halftime break and it has disappeared at the present time as you see the ball get away there and it's picked up by Rosgoni and sent over on the far side. Bennett Duffy puts his shoulder down. Duffy a spin move and strong defense. As nice job getting the shot away. That was Christian Brodiak applying the pressure for UT defensively. And with it on the far side is Griffin Bowie. Up top now, this is Williams. Pass in the middle and a shot there from DePlank that goes out of play. And now a shot taken, scores. Colin Stewart gets his third goal of the game. And Florida Tech goes up six to two, one minute and 28 seconds into the second half. As there you see the replay And Stewart with an unassisted goal. And Colin Stewart now with 16 goals on the season. And that is tops on Florida Tech. And now UT putting into play. Owen Miller stops just outside the Panthers line. Connects with Hoke. Fitzpatrick and now right back to Hoke. And six foot three, Callan Hoke carries on and now sends it back for Owen Miller. Miller across the Panthers line, loses it. And the ball will be picked up there by the Panthers as they try to start out of their own end. That's Matthew Hill. And the Spartans knock it free from his stick. And a bunch of them battle for it. The Spartans come out of the pack with it. Right out in front. And losing the handle was Colin White. And unfortunate as he was right on the doorstep. And instead the goaltender, John Halsman, brings it up. Now he'll send it back for Matthew Hill. Hill, a pass that connects at midfield with Sidari. Sidari down the far sideline. Pass into the far corner. And that's Jacob Turpak giving it back to Sidari. And now back to Turpak again. Griffin Martin has just stepped on for Florida Tech, and this is him. Takes a shot that Ulmer got a piece of, and it'll go out of play on the far side of the field. And possession stays with the Panthers. And they'll reset way up top. Colin Stewart with it. Stewart looking to go one on one against Jackson Day. Stewart, a pass, and looking to shoot was Sidari. And now Griffin Martin on the move takes a shot and may have hit the goal post as it goes out of play. And the shot clock is reset as Nate DePlank puts it back into play. His pass up top is missed and it's chased down there by Turpak. And now Sidari with it. Sidari ducks a check, flips a pass back, and a nice job to knock it down by Brady Stoll for UT. Colin Stewart picked it up, and you hear the whistle as the official right on the spot signaling the change of possession. And away with it goes Jackson Day. Day with a pass back for Platenic. And now he'll send it for Bolish. 
Bullish tries to get past his check. Bullish on the far side. A pass down behind the Panthers net. That's Harry Kilkowski back there. Kilkowski with a little spin move. And comes out in front. Bounce shot scores. Harry Kilkowski. A nice athletic play. And beats John Halsman. As you see the replay here. And you see the spin move there to get out in front and then one-on-one -on -one with Halsman. And so UT cuts the deficit back to three. And they really need to build from that as we're four minutes, 29 seconds into the third quarter. And UT has trailed all day. And now another possession for the Spartans as Matthew Badeau Pushes it up ahead. McEnany sends it up top for Matukas. Owen Matukas is bumped. Continues on. And now a pass back for Owen Miller. Miller holds on to it and comes over to the near side of the field. And up top now. And you see Charlie Bolish with some signals to his teammates and gives it to Fitzpatrick who waves him on. Back to Bolish. Bolish in behind the Panthers' net. Bolish spins, goes back the other way, now continues back out towards the near side. Pass into the corner. And they'll reset back up top. Spartans working here, Fitzpatrick. And sends it down low. Kilkowski in behind the Panthers' net. Kilkowski sizing up the defender. A nice spin move takes a shot that goes out of play. And possession stays with the Spartans. Only 13 on the shot clock, though, so they need to work quickly here. Fitzpatrick comes out in front, takes a shot, scores! A great shot by Daniel Fitzpatrick finding the top corner of the net. And the Spartans close within two as it's 6-4 to four, Florida Tech. And watch the line here that he shoots to deposit that one up on the top shelf. And it's an unassisted goal for Daniel Fitzpatrick. And that is his seventh, lucky seven, seventh goal of the season. And the Panthers, opportunity here, they score. So answering right back after some sloppy play there, Nate DePlank. Florida Tech goes back into a three-goal lead. As you see the play here, as DePlank picked it up and walks in and bounces it past Blake Ulmer. And now we'll see the faceoff here with... Hunter Turner and Ethan Toshef. And possession to the Panthers. As the Spartans seemed poised to close the gap to one. And instead, they allow a goal and go down by three. And the Panthers looking for more here as Duffy... That one goes back out to midfield and is picked up in time by Griffin Bowie. Bowie across the Panthers' line. Excuse me, the Spartans' line. In behind the Spartans' net. And nothing there for Bennett Duffy. He plays it up top for Justin Williams, who takes a long shot. And that one goes out of play. Possession stays with Florida Tech. And that's Nate DePlank with it. DePlank looking in front of the net. will send it back up top instead for Justin Williams. Williams with a pass in the middle. Stolen away. And the Spartans coming back. And look at the burst of speed from Christian Brodiak. And Brodiak has it knocked free. And the official blowing the play dead. And signals that possession will remain with the Spartans. And this is Luke McEnany with it. 
And up top, Kilkowski looked over to his right. Spartans making some personnel changes as Charlie Bullish just stepped on, as did Daniel Fitzpatrick. And Bullish crossing the Florida Tech line. Leaves a pass back for Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick resets. And quickly across the Panther line. Sends it in behind the Florida Tech net. Bullish back there being watched by Brennan Banks. And Bullish with a pass now. And UT back up top with it. Daniel Fitzpatrick. And this is Owen Miller. Miller trying to get by his check. Can't. Tries the other side. And now a pass to Fitzpatrick. 25 on the shot clock. Kilkowski gives it to Bullish. Bullish in behind the Panthers net. Pass out in front. And intended for Fitzpatrick. Missed and goes out of play. And an unfortunate turnover there for the Spartans. As they were working for what you can only assume would have been their 11th shot on goal. They're being outshot 16 to 10. And the Panthers at work now offensively. Turpak holds and watches his teammate Griffin Martin come on the field and gives it to him. And now Sidari sends it for Rosgoni. And now in behind the Spartans net, that's Nate to Plank. A pass in front, and it's knocked down. The ball's loose. A pileup in front of Ulmer, and he's the one that comes out with it as the Spartans move it quickly ahead. McEnany up top with it now. Platenic. A nice fake shot in here in front. Scores! Flags fly. As Colin White beat John Halsman. And the Spartans crawl back within two again. It's now 7-5 to five in favor of the Panthers. And here's the replay. And you'll see Colin White just get hammered as he scores the goal. And that'll be White's second goal of the game. The assist goes to Charlie Bullish. And for Colin White, he's up to now 12 goals on the season. And UT in possession here again. And let's see if they can finally reduce the Panthers' lead to one. This is Kellen Hoke with it. And you see the sun finally coming out on the field here as Hoke starts his move across the Panthers line. Hoke holds onto it, takes it towards the corner, and now sends a pass down low. As that's Charlie Bolish with it back behind the Panthers net. Bolish pops out now, sends it for Kilkowski behind the net. Kilkowski. And he continues to maneuver behind the Panthers' net as there's a pass that's going to get away. Possession stays with the Spartans as Charlie Bullish will put it in on the far side of the field. Spartans have 25 seconds left on the shot clock. And Owen Miller with it down low. Miller wants something in close, can't find it. Gives it to Bullish. Back to Miller. A spin shot scores! A great goal there from Owen Miller as he spun around and fired it to the far side and up high on John Halsman. And you'll see the replay here. And there you see the shot that goes up over the left shoulder of Halsman. And finally, the Spartans close the gap to one. And still 4.39 to go here in the third quarter. And let's see if they can complete the comeback and tie this up as the ball is loose following the faceoff. And let's see who comes out of the pack with it as a bunch of them battle for it. And it's the Panthers that get the possession. 
Ethan Toshev got it. And now here come the Panthers again. Into the Spartans, end of the field. And the dangerous Colin Stewart with it. He sends it over for Bowie. And now the other way as they take it down low and reset up top once again. There's Bowie. Puts his shoulder down and carries on behind the Spartans net. And now over to the far side of the field to Duffy. Duffy for Justin Williams. Williams turns the corner, takes a long shot and scores. And just like that, the Panthers answer right back. And that makes it 8-6 to six with 3.36 remaining here in the third quarter. And Williams with his second goal of the afternoon. That one's unassisted. And in the second quarter, there were only two goals combined between the two teams. And this has been the highest scoring quarter so far. Seven goals between the two teams here in the third quarter. UT outscoring the Panthers 4-3. to three. As you see, the Spartans in possession here. Luke McEnany with it. His pass missed Fitzpatrick on the far side of the field. Glad to have you with us here on this Saturday afternoon. I'm Bruce Wozniak, and it's the number two Tampa Spartans and the number 16 Florida Tech Panthers. We are live from the Namoli Family Athletic and Intramural Complex on the grounds of the University of Tampa campus, and a penalty being called here against Connor Young, a one-minute slashing penalty. So Florida Tech opening the door here for the Spartans. Let's see how they do with the extra man as it's up top now with Miller over to the far side of the field. UT is 0 for 3 with the extra man so far in this game, and the pass intended for Owen Miller got away from him, and now he lost it again. And possession stays, however, with the Spartans. The official determines. And Owen Miller has it up top. As there's 20 seconds left in the penalty against Connor Young of Florida Tech. As the ball rolls out of play, 17 seconds left in the Panthers' penalty. Kilkowski. Over for Colin White. Owen Miller up top now. And a bounce shot scores! Kellen Hoke. And that goal will be of the extra man variety as there were still six seconds left on the penalty. And they'll say no goal and Matthew Badeau of the Spartans with his hands raised in disbelief, wanting an explanation. And play will carry on here as Florida Tech starts it up and connects with Brendan Banks. And now taking it into the corner, Rosgoni. And there's a shot. Nice save there by Almer. And the ball is loose. Almer dives for it and a flag thrown. And so I believe we're going to have another call here coming up against Florida Tech as the Spartans have it in the offensive end. Colin White working here. And it's over now for Bolish. Charlie Bolish across the Panthers line. Drops a pass back for White. Over for McEnany, has a good lane, and that one may have been deflected as it goes out of play. And we'll get a pause here with 127 left in the third quarter as the explanation is being given by the official on the far side of the field. Both 
in terms of the penalty as well as the goal that did not stand. In the meantime, a one-minute cross-checking penalty against Nate DePlank for Florida Tech. And so Spartans going to work here with the extra man. And it's up top with Owen Miller over for Hoke. And behind the Panthers net now and to this side of the field to McEnany. Up top to Miller. Hoke with a pass over and a shot coming that goes out of play. And possession stays with UT. Still 41 seconds with the extra man. Put back into play. This is Owen Miller. Up top, Hoke. And he gets it right back. And a shot coming from Owen Miller that goes wide and out of play. Colin White will chase after it and put it back in. 29 seconds left with the extra man and 29 on the shot clock. Hoke with it up top. Miller wanted another opportunity after shooting from almost that exact same spot and saw it go wide. This is McEnany now. McEnany bounce pass. Miller couldn't control it. And it's going to roll across midfield and be turned over. And with just nine seconds left in the penalty against DePlank, the Panthers will kill it off successfully. And we're down to just 25 seconds left here in the third quarter. And a shot coming, a nice save there by Ulmer off the stick of Colin Stewart who has three goals and an assist in this game. And here comes UT with 10 seconds left in the quarter. And now it's turned over. The Panthers hoping to get a final shot away as it's run up the field by Bennett Duffy. And down low, let's see if they let know the official there on the spot waves it off. Patrick Stewart did beat Blake Almer, but the official right there to call that the horn had gone to end the third quarter. So our score is 8-6 to six, Florida Tech after three. And we'll be right back with more Tampa Spartans lacrosse on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network.
See the replay there, the long shot by Badeau. But Sam Collingwood back in the other end of the field starting that as Badeau gets the unassisted goal and a huge face off now. And it's still loose. And they're going to call a hold on the Panthers. And so possession goes to UT. Matthew Badeau, who just scored the goal. This is him sending a pass up in the corner to Ronan Sanchez. And now McEnany on the far side of the field. McEnany couldn't turn the corner. Would have had a nice lane to head towards the Florida Tech net. Nothing doing. Owen Miller with it now. Miller looked at Kellen Hoke. Decides to hold on to it. And Miller skips towards the Panthers net. Now sends a pass down low. Colin White... Pass up top, Hoke on the run. Hoke gets a shot away, didn't get through, and the ball is loose as a whole bunch of them battle for it. And the Panthers come out of the pack with possession. And there's a pass thrown up ahead, and it manages to bounce into the stick of Colin Stewart on the run. Stewart scores! His fourth goal of the game, and the Panthers... Just refusing to let the Spartans tie this game up. They go back into another two-goal lead. It's 9-7. to seven. And there's the replay. As you see the shot getting past Blake Ulmer. And so now we'll see Ethan Toshef for Florida Tech and Hunter Turner for the Spartans on this faceoff. Here come the Panthers offensively once again on the far side of the field. That's Rosgoni. Sends a pass into the corner but gets it right back. And up top of it now, Griffin Martin. This is Jacob Turpak now. He gets it right back from Sadari. And Turpak wanted to go one-on-one -on -one there with Christian Brodiak. Instead now this is Patrick Stewart up top. Over for Martin. Griffin Martin switches hands back to his right. Now a pass over and a nice save there by Ulmer. And guess who? Colin Stewart again knocking on the door. Spartans deny him and back they come. Pass up ahead for Brodiak. A pass over. McEnany. And now Matthew Badeau. And seeing that one the whole way was Halsman. And makes the save. as the crowd was on their feet awaiting that shot 
from Badeau. And meanwhile, at the other end of the field, UT getting it right back, and now they move it quickly up ahead. At midfield is Christian Brodiak. His pass over was intended for Matukas, having trouble with it, and McEnany there to bail him out with a bounce pass now. And on the run, here comes Charlie Bolish. Bolish trying to barrel his way towards the net, has to take it all the way in behind the Panthers' net. Pops out the other side. Bolish gets a shot, scores! Charlie Bolish with 10.05 to go in the fourth quarter. And he already had two assists today and now gets into the goal column. And that's goal number five on the season for Charlie. And I'll say it once again, how important these face-offs become. And let's see as the ball's still loose on this one. And a couple of them chase after it. And it's picked up for the Spartans by Brady Stoll. Stoll takes it across the Panthers line, a shot that goes high and out of play. And it'll be turned over as Florida Tech will put it in from behind their own net. And the fans on the edge of their seats here sensing the Spartans potentially getting what would be the first tie of this game if they can hold defensively here and go back down the other end and get another goal. Meanwhile, the Panthers working offensively. Bennett Duffy, his pass over for Bowie. Griffin Bowie looking to go one-on-one -on -one here against Casey Platenic. And there's a shot. Oh, hit the goal post. A shot by Patrick Stewart. And the official right there to award possession to UT. And so now quickly up ahead, Cormac McCarthy sends a pass that was bobbled. And the Spartans able to come out of the pack with it. A nice play there by Jackson Day. Away he goes, crossing midfield. Day over the Panthers line. Day stops, turns, and now goes back the other way. And Jackson Day takes it into the far corner, stopping down there. Spartans get some replacements on the field as head coach J.B. Clark makes some personnel changes. And a nice play there, saving that one was Charlie Bolish. And Bolish on the run. Stops, tries to get around the defender. Bolish is pushed. Sends a pass in front, scores! Luke McEnany, and it looked like a fluke play, but it counts, and the score is finally tied. Nine to nine with 8.25 remaining. And you'll see here, as the pass goes in front, and the Panthers defender went down, as did goaltender John Halsman. And it's a brand new ball game as we're tied 9 to 9. Bolish gets the assist. And Bolish now with a goal and three assists here as the Spartans in possession once again. And could they take their first lead of the game? Colin White with a pass to McEnany. McEnany, he'll be chased by Sam Balch. And now up top with it, this is Owen Miller. Miller as the Spartans make another change. And outstepped Daniel Fitzpatrick who has it. And now he relays it up top. Bullish skipping across the Panthers line. Bullish looking to shoot, gives it to Miller instead. Owen Miller has some room, takes a shot and it was deflected and gets loose as the Panthers come out of the pack with it. That's Josh Vetter and UT applying pressure on Halsman who's out of his net and it's sent over to the far side of the field. Now sent into the center of the field to Vetter as he pushes it up ahead. And watch out, this is Colin Stewart. He's got four goals and one assist for Florida Tech so far this afternoon. And Stewart 
Sends it over for Matt Gutman. Jacob Turpak being watched there by Brodiak. Turpak directing traffic a little bit. Takes it all the way down into the corner. Turpak trying to go one-on-one. -on -one, literally bumping heads there with Brodiak. And looking for a shot. Nice save there by Almer off the stick of Griffin Martin. And the ball is loose. The Panthers come away with it. And pass right in front. Scores! Colin Stewart with goal number five on the day. He has scored half of the Panthers' goals as Florida Tech goes back in front 10-9 to with 6.31 remaining. And here you see the replay. And that is not the person that you want to leave open one-on-one -on -one in front of the net. And that is not a knock against Blake Ulmer. It's just a credit to the strong play by Colin Stewart. The 5'10", 175-pound sophomore from Westminster, Maryland. As you see, the Panthers in control here again, although an errant pass is going to miss. And so that'll be turned over a break for the Spartans as they'll put it into play and start it with their goaltender, Blake Ulmer. And this is Cormac McCarthy with a pass up ahead, connecting with Jackson Day. Day across the Panthers' line goes down and jumps right back up. Day will send it back for Charlie Bolish. And now Fitzpatrick thought he had a lane. Takes it down towards the corner anyways. He goes all the way in behind the Panthers' net. Fitzpatrick, a nice spin move. Comes out in front. Shoot, scores! What a goal by Daniel Fitzpatrick from a tough angle. And up over the left shoulder, the far corner of the net. Beating John Holzman. And watch the play here as he pivots and goes back the other way. And the angle from which he shoots this one. And UT ties it up 10 to 10 with 551 remaining here in the fourth quarter. What a game. UT has outscored Florida Tech 8 to 5 so far here in the second half. They trailed 5 to 2 at halftime and the Spartans get possession here and a chance to get their first lead of the game. And watch out Cormac McCarthy as he was being chased from behind a great athletic play there by Luke McEnany to pull that one down. And the Spartans going to work here. Charlie Bolish on the run. Bolish running parallel to the restraining line. And now sends it back. As Fitzpatrick whips it over for Owen Miller. Miller on the run. Miller avoids a check. Carries on. And working on the far side of the field. Up top now. Charlie Bolish still plenty of time on the shot clock here. For UT to work into a prime scoring area. And Bolish fakes the pass, puts his shoulder down and can't fight through the check, so he sends a pass down in behind the net. Daniel Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick sends a pass out in front. Might have been deflected. The ball's loose and it's overran and picked up by the Panthers. And hold on, the Spartans get it right back. McEnany for Colin White and of course a fresh shot clock here. Owen Miller has some room, works his way towards the net. It rolls right to Holzman and coming away with it was Cole Marini. And Marini runs it up for the Panthers. Now a pass up ahead. Brendan Banks. Banks into the Spartans' end of the field. Our score is tied at 10. 4.05 left in the fourth quarter. This is Justin Williams. And now over on the far side, Griffin Bowie drops a pass back. Duffy, he'll send it back behind the Spartans net. Nate to Plank. Panthers jog it in behind the Spartans net. That's Bennett Duffy. And this is to Plank once again. A pass and dropped by Williams. The ball is loose. And the Panthers... Colin Stewart was taken down in a long pass. Doesn't connect. The Spartans somehow come out of the pack with it. Ultimately, it's picked up 
by Harry Kilkowski. Play getting quite physical here as we're down to three minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. UT has not led in this game and this would be a fine time for them to finally get their first lead to the game. Trying to keep their record perfect as they enter today's game with a 5-0 one loss record. And this is Kellen Hoke. Hoke still plenty of time on the shot clock, 35 seconds. Hoke breaks towards the net, takes a bounce shot, goes out of play, and possession stays with the Spartans with 31 seconds on the shot clock. Harry Kilkowski will put it in play for the home team. And the great crowd that's on hand here today, just anticipating eruption if the Spartans can finally take a lead here against a very challenging Florida Tech opponent. And now it's in behind the net. McEnany passed and a backhand shot there by Nick Papa unsuccessful as the goaltender Halsman drops it off for Sam Bulch and now back to Halsman again. Halsman waving his teammates on and there's a pass that connects with Justin Williams for Bennett Duffy now. Duffy up ahead. Rosgoni and back to Duffy again. And time becoming a factor as we're down to 145 left in the fourth quarter. That's Rosgoni with it in behind the Spartans net. And keep an eye on 66, Colin Stewart, who has five goals and one assist. He is out there now. And there's a shot taken by Duffy that goes out of play. And possession stays with Florida Tech. They still have 30 seconds on the shot clock. 124 left on the game clock here in the fourth quarter. And that's Nate DePlank. And looking for some room. Justin Williams, that one's going to go out of play. Possession still with Florida Tech. Their shot clock down to 17 seconds now. And 112 in the game clock. And there he is, Colin Stewart. Stewart. Watch for him to try to get the shot himself. He does, and it goes out of play. Shot clock down to 10. And watch 66 again as the Panthers. There's a nice save by Almer. And the Spartans will take over. 57 seconds left in regulation. And up ahead, the pass deflects off of Brodiak and the official right there on the spot to call it for Florida Tech. So the Panthers in possession which is 48 seconds left and it looks like head coach Brad MacArthur is going to take a timeout. And so we will step aside as well. You're watching Tampa Spartans Lacrosse on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. Back live here at the Namoli Family Athletic and Intramural Complex. And tense moments as there's just 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the Spartans and Panthers are deadlocked at 10 apiece. 
And we're getting ready to resume here following the timeout by Florida Tech. And Justin Williams will put it in play for the Panthers and does. And let's see if they work for the last shot of the game, which would be expected. Just trying to kill as much clock as they can. And needless to say, Colin Stewart out there on the field for Florida Tech. He has five goals and one assist in this game. And don't be surprised if they look to get it to him in the closing seconds as the game clock is now down to just 15 seconds left. And there's a bounce shot that goes out of play off the stick of Bennett Duffy. Possession stays with Florida Tech. And now 10 seconds remain and bumping back there behind the net. And they're looking to get it to Stewart and don't. And it's controlled by the Spartans. Time runs out, however. And so we will go to overtime. Tied at 10. And so the crucial face-off to start overtime will be coming up after this break. You're watching Tampa Spartans Lacrosse on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. Just another ordinary day at UT. Back live and about ready to start overtime. The Spartans and the Panthers are tied 10 to 10. And what a game by Spartans goaltender Blake Ulmer. 17 saves as the visitors are out shooting UT 27 to 18. And the crucial faceoff. Both teams have won 12 faceoffs. And this is going to come down to Ethan Toshef for the Panthers against Hunter Turner of the Spartans. And Turner wins it cleanly, and down he comes. Hunter Turner quickly, McEnany, and he holds up. And the Spartans will set up here as Matthew Badeau looks over to his sideline, knowing that there's going to be some personnel changes made. And out comes Charlie Bolish, and Badeau gives it to him. Bolish skipping his way towards the Panthers' line, and now this is Owen Miller with it. The Spartans have not led this entire game. They outscored Florida Tech 8-5 to in the second half. It put us into this 10-10 tie. And now Fitzpatrick with a pass over. Bullish with a little spin move in front. McEnany. McEnany had Colin White wide open. Couldn't get it to him in time. Carries on McEnany and flips the pass back for Bullish. 25 on the shot clock, bullish on the far side of the field. The Spartans have had far too many shot clock violations today. They need to get something off here. Owen Miller, and it's Kilkowski behind the net. Now pass up top, Fitzpatrick, and a save there by Hulsman. And so the Panthers will get their first offensive opportunity here of this overtime as it's started up by Sam Balch. And now up ahead some room here and going down to the field was Josh Vetter and you see the flag thrown as the Spartans come out of there with it but play will stop and we're going to call we're going to get a call here likely against Daniel Fitzpatrick it looks like and this comes 1 minute 34 seconds into the overtime period 
And so an untimely call. Florida Tech is two for three with the extra man today. And in fact, a one minute tripping call against Daniel Fitzpatrick. So the tension mounts here for the Spartans as they go down a man. And I hate to sound like a broken record, but keep your eye on number 66, Colin Stewart, as the Panthers working here with the extra man. And up top now, they work it around, and that is Stewart for Bowie. Up top, Williams. And Williams will send it back as they work it down to Stewart. Back for Bowie and to Williams once again. And that's Rasgoni. And now the pass as they work it back up top to Williams again. And the Spartans, are they able to cause the turnover? It's a race for it. And the Panthers came up with it, but a collision as the Spartans go back the other way. McEnany with it. McEnany in behind the Panthers' net. Stops and... A whistle, McEnany goes down. And the Spartans call a timeout with 90 seconds left here in the overtime, and we will take a timeout as well. You're watching Tampa Spartans Lacrosse on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. Back live here following the timeout called by Spartans head coach J.B. Clark. And UT, despite being a man short for four more seconds, the call against Daniel Fitzpatrick, the Spartans have turned the tables on the Panthers. And let's see what head coach J.B. Clark drew up for the Spartans during that timeout. As this is Charlie Bullish with it on the far side of the field, and UT back at full strength now as Kellen Hoke comes out on the field. And Bullish with a little signal to his teammates as he takes it in behind the Panthers' net. The sun comes out. Can this be a sign of things to come as Bullish stops? And the home crowd just absolutely on the edge of their seat, a lot of them standing. And Kilkowski, a pass in front that was knocked down and turned over. So the Panthers will start out of their own end. As this is the goaltender, Halsman. And there's just 40 seconds now left in overtime. A nice play by Colin White. Can he cause the turnover? It's still loose. And they battle for it. And the official right on the spot. A procedure call against the Panthers. And possession to the Spartans with 33 seconds left in overtime. This is sudden death, by the way. Just waiting for either team to score. Will it be the Spartans? They have the ball now. Kellen Hoke takes it in behind the Panthers' net. And yes, we will go to a second overtime if it's still tied, as there's only 15 seconds left in this first overtime period. Kellen Hoke with it. Excuse me, that's bullish, rather, behind the net. Bullish with five seconds left. Still plenty of time on the shot clock, and the Spartans won't get a shot away. And so the horn goes to end the first overtime period, and we remain tied at 10. And so we will take another break here on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network and be back with the second overtime of Tampa Spartans Lacrosse.
And back with you here for the start of the second overtime. The Spartans won the only faceoff. The one that started the first overtime. That's Hunter Turner out there again. He had won the first one. He wins this one as well. So 14 to 12 now the Spartans lead in the faceoff category. And they don't care about the other statistics. They just want the goal. Keep in mind that the teams have changed ends here. And so UT coming down into the Panthers, end of the field. And we are in a next goal wins it situation as the teams go scoreless in the first overtime. And this is Owen Miller with it for the Spartans. Miller heads towards the net. Miller fires it back up top for Pitts Fitzpatrick. And now bullish on the far side, down low. And they send it up top. Fitzpatrick hit the goal post. And a big rebound that goes out of play, and possession stays with the Spartans. The official here on the near side calling that one. And John Halsman will turn around and thank that goalpost as the Spartans were just that close to winning the game, as this is Charlie Bullish with it. 49 seconds on the shot clock. And Bullish runs it over to the near side. Bullish one-on-one -on -one here, and now they temporarily double-team and send it over to Colin White. Up top now, Owen Miller. Miller has it knocked free. It's going to be a foot race to the loose ball, and Miller got there first but couldn't pick it up, and body's flying, and the Panthers will come up with it. And so the goaltender, Halsman, send it over to the far side. The Spartans are getting some breaks here since regulation ended, but you have to wonder how much longer the luck will hold up as this Panthers team has been awfully, awfully pesky. Very resilient all afternoon. And here they are working in the second overtime. And this is Bennett Duffy with it. Duffy sends a pass over. And Griffin Bowie on the run. Bowie. Now Bennett Duffy fires a shot that was deflected and will be chased into the corner. And possession will stay with the Panthers. 25 on the shot clock for them. And that's Colin Stewart. He of the five goals, one assist in this game. And now a pass for Bennett Duffy. Duffy, a long shot. And... Ulmer kick save on that one and possession over to the Spartans. And so another opportunity here for the home team as up ahead with it goes Kish Christian Brodiak. Luke McEnany with it. McEnany fakes the pass for Kilkowski and sends it up top instead to Kellen Hoke. Hoke takes it into the corner. Hoke in behind the Panthers' net. Hoke working back there, looking for a pick from Kilkowski. Gives it to Kilkowski. <laughs> and now Harry moving back towards the goal line. Starts his move. Ducks under a check. Bounces back up. Kilkowski looking to go one-on-one -on -one here. Starts his move towards the net. A nice pass in front. Oh, and a save made there by Halsman. And a Possession call awarded to the Spartans by the referee who's right there on the spot. And a huge break for UT as there's just 31 seconds left in the second overtime. And so head coach J.B. Clark wants to settle his troops down and talk this one over. He calls a timeout. And we will step away as well. You're watching Tampa Spartans Lacrosse on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network.
In NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. And we are back following the timeout by the Spartans. 31 seconds left in the second overtime. It's a sudden death situation and the Spartans have not led the entire game. We're tied at 10. They are being outshot 28 to 20. And look out as it's knocked, but Owen Miller picks it up for UT. And the Spartans need to be conscious of the time now. 19 seconds left as they need to get a shot away, ran into that issue as the first overtime expired. And Owen Miller starts his move, can't find anyone, gives it to Kilkowski, seven seconds. Kilkowski tries to get in front, scores! <laughs> Harry Kilkowski with four seconds left and the Spartans mob him, come running off their sidelines and the home crowd erupts as the Spartans win it in the second overtime, 11 to 10. Their first lead of the game is the biggest goal of the day. And Harry Kilkowski is the hero, giving his team its sixth victory of the season as UT stays perfect. Kilkowski's second goal of the game unassisted. And a huge come from behind victory by the Spartans to improve to 6 and 0 on the season and defeating their Sunshine State Conference rival, Florida Tech. And by the way, ending a three-game winning streak for the Panthers as Florida Tech will fall to four and three. What an exciting finish here as the Spartans win it with four seconds left in the second overtime, a game that they had trailed five to two at halftime. And so they outscore Florida Tech the rest of the way, nine to five. And Harry Kilkowski with the game-winning goal. And the home crowd thrilled after sitting on the edge of their seats for most of the fourth quarter and then through a scoreless first overtime and then almost a full second overtime. Other goal scorers for the Spartans today, Luke McEnany also had two, as did Colin White. And two from Daniel Fitzpatrick as well. And they overcome a five-goal, one-assist effort from Florida Tech's Colin Stewart. And Blake Ulmer, the goaltender for UT with the victory, making 18 saves. And his counterpart at the other end of the field, John Halsman, made 10 saves as the final shots on goal were 28-21. to 21. And so the Spartans, with a huge victory here this afternoon, my thanks to Andre Pyatt. I'm Bruce Wozniak thanking you for watching on the Sunshine State Conference Digital.